on ESPN+. Welcome inside Greater Zion Stadium here in St. George, Utah. Glad to have you aboard with us tonight. I'm Rod Zundel along with my brother. Utah, the Wildcats kicking this thing away, and we are underway here in St. George, and it will sail into the end zone, and Utah Tech will have it to start things off. Back is number 10, Deacon Hill. Oh, in the Wildcat formation. And it is Chris Street, and he's going to be short, well short. Barely got back to the line of scrimmage. And that really didn't fool anybody. See, we're every game. So it's third down and three. They'll mark the ball to 37. McIver, straight drop back, caught and dropped. Good that deflection by Jaden Sheridan. It was right in the hands of his intended receiver. 45-yard line after the interference penalty. That's Garrett in motion. Deacon Hill, the quarterback, fakes the handoff out in the flat to Garrett. And he runs head first into third down and six at the 40. Garrett in motion. Hill to throw. Caught at the 30 and down at the 25. Still on his feet, though. All the way down to the 16-yard line. That's Shamar Garrett. Yeah. And a long three. Chris Street up the middle, and he's going to have the first down near the seven-yard line before he's brought down. So move the chains. So first and goal, ball at the seven-yard line. Reggie Graff in at quarterback, hands off right up the middle, touchdown, Trailblazers. Seven-yard touchdown run for Utah Tech. Perfect on the year so far. Andy Day, the holder, kick is up, and it is good. So with 9.36 left, the trip. Eight and a half to play, first quarter. MacGyver in the pocket, going deep, got his receiver caught in Utah Tech territory. Still on his feet is Blaine Taylor, and it's a foot race with Jaden Sheridan to the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Blaine Taylor from Maverick MacGyver. Wow. And there's your big play receiver right there. I mean, he is 6'5", 215, and he just shrugged off yeah. a couple of trailblazers around midfield. Looked like it was just a, neck, a naked fake. So, what a play. 130 yards passing a game. Being able to trust their wide receivers. Absolutely. Kick is good by Ritzy Bass. And with 8.16 left, five and a half sacks on the season already. That was a tackle for loss. Second and 11, handoff, no, the fake. Reggie Graff out in the flat, caught at the 41 yard line. What a grab by Bryce Parker, going up high. And Parker in motion this time. Down the right sideline, Parker's open. Did he oh, get a foot in, did he get a foot in? No, they say out of bounds. The yard too far outside, but Andy Day to kick this thing away. And Martinez goes back inside the 10, bobbles the football, and then knocked out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. So Andy Day doing his job nicely and pinning him inside the 10. Right, one to the left. McIver back in his goal line. Plenty of time. Across the middle, wide open is Taylor. First down, across the 20. Out across the 25 to the 26 yard line. And that is a gain of 15 on. They haven't been able to get up a deep play down the sideline on those corners. Not much there, but it's going to be a first down or close. It's right at the line of game to Johnson. And there's Dane Whalen, who missed the first three games with injury. Number 50. But Abilene Christian. Over 10 yards per play, thanks to that 76 yarder. Hand off to Hicks, dances his way into the secondary. There he goes. It's another foot race to the end zone. Hicks, Sheridan trying to save the touchdown. He can't touchdown. Wildcat Sam Hicks. And that is 47 yards. See the cutback and see the open field. Actually, a 53 yard touchdown scamper by Sam Hicks, the transfer from Central Michigan. 5'9", 190, and he can move, but not until he reached the end zone. So two chunk plays 
And the Wildcats have a 14-7 lead. And what Evelyn found out is now he's trying to stop the run game, make, make Deacon Hill pass the ball. And Deacon Hill passes to Estes, and he is wide open. And he will take it all the way out to the 49-yard line. Now they're one for three on the night. Parker in motion. Deacon Hill rolling to his left. And he tried to just float it over a couple of defenders, but he couldn't make the connection to Parker. Yeah, you got flags coming from all. The outside rusher. So third and 14. Handoff right up the middle. Johnson across the 10 out to the 11-yard line. It's going to be an eight-yard pickup, but well short. And set to punt this thing away, Grant Nickel inside his own goal line and boots this away. It's a good one. Shamar Garrett, midfield, takes it. Jumps over a guy. He's got some room. Still on his feet. Down the left side, and Shamar Garrett down the left sideline near the 20-yard line. And that, Ronnie, is beat. Nigel Osborne in there now. He has it. He tries to break off the right side and nowhere to go. Yeah, nothing's there. Yep. Swallowed up. Yep, as uh, Koheli was there to force him outside, and then Kelly finished him off. Roach was also for five, converting third downs. Deacon Hill, and that is caught and dropped inside the 10-yard line. Wouldn't have been enough for a first down anyway. And Bryce Parker was there to try to haul the safe. 32-yard field goal attempt by Uvedoff. And he's 0 for 1 from 30 to 39 yards. And that one is up, and it is good. So Uvedoff now 2 for 4. Kick. So McIver sends three receivers out to the right. And he hands off to Hicks. Hicks cuts it back and has a good... Piece of running and still on his feet all the way out to the 44-yard line. Williams banged up. He's, he come in and played pretty well. Another handoff right up the middle and slicing it to the right side is Hicks. Got another good chunk yard uh, run on that one. Nine years, five, 330 from Paul City, Texas. Another Texas Tech transfer, number 70. He just turned the defensive lineman. McIver, all sorts of time, makes the connection to Taylor inside the 40 down to the 36-yard line. Let's see if they start creeping back, though. So third down and nine. McIver down the sideline, open but overthrows his receiver. He had to make a move to get away from, and this is a 52-yard field goal. He was making this to the other end of the field in warm-ups. And that kick is up, and that's right down the middle. Is it long enough? Yes, it is. 52-yarder for Ritzy Vase, and he had a run on a quarterback draw right up the middle. Fake the handoff to Street, out in the flat, caught to Trinette Estes, makes one move, still on his feet, and gets across the 40 to the 40, yeah, mark him right down at the 40, that's a nine yard pickup, but that's a first down trail. Right now they're one for five on the night. Deacon Hill, Deacon Hill goes down, now they're one for six. Great pressure by the interior line of the Wildcats, and that was Jip's receivers to the left on third and long. Third and eight, across the middle, incomplete, and that was intended for Cleveland again, and Brevin Hamlin, I believe, was streaking in there. Well, yeah, McIver. Oh, Quincy. They're one for six in third down conversions. Plenty of time, the short pass, incomplete. Incomplete. I've been well short of the first down. And that was Bretton Stone, I believe. Yeah. His first target of the night. The junior mm -hmm. out of Martinez back at his own 40 to receive this kick. It's a low wobbler. Could be returnable. It is. Martinez breaks down the left side. Got some room down the left sideline. Nehemiah Martinez at the 30 all the way down to the 26 yard line and Ronnie Walker you talked about it flipping the field with a punt tech already leading 17 to 10 trying to capitalize on a good punt return Hicks dances his way near the 20 across the 20 carries a couple of red jerseys an extra four five six yards all the way down inside the 15 to the 12 yard line Sam Hicks man he is a motor tonight Spencer so second down third down and about five Hicks slips a little bit, and then Quincy LeJay and Dane Whalen make the stop. 
no gain on the play. So that brings for three from this distance on the year. The holders, Hugo Nash, and the extra the field goal is up, and it's good. 25-yard field, field goal is good by base and his second of the night. A little option to Street. Tries to get some room, does so. Across the 35, still on his feet. All the way out to the 44-yard line. Chris Street not going down on the first bump. And he's going to have a big chunk of yard. Big 6'2", 300-pounder leading the way, plowing the field. Little fly sweep to Garrett. He has a little move. Still on his feet. There goes Shamar Garrett down the left sideline. All the way into Abilene Christian territory. Knocked out at the 26-yard line. Yeah. Boy, you talked about it. Eight. Ball at the 23-yard line. 11 personnel. They rush four. Deacon Hill out in the flat, wide open, but he cannot make the connection to Garrett. Make it 41-yard field goal attempt. He's one for two from this distance this year. Hold it down by Day, and that kick is wide right. Misses that one. So now you've ate off it. A little waving, swaying over towards Hicks. Second and 10, 108 left. Out in the flat, that's caught, immediately brought down at the 25, and we got a flag. And it's gonna be on Utah Tech, as whoever made that tackle, I couldn't see who it was. Jaden Sheridan. Jaden Sheridan. Number four. That was just a defense. careless error. Just yeah. a mistake that could have been preventable. First down. Yeah, had a great stop for a yard or two, and now it's first and Shout out to Lubbock Cooper. Fake the handoff up the middle. Here comes the pressure. Stepping up, McIver's got a lot of room up near midfield and forced out of bounds by Hamlin. And the clock stopped with 56 seconds left and just dropped. So second down at the 49-yard line. McIver across the middle deep again. This time complete. Down inside the 35-yard line. First down, seconds left. Second down and 10. Ball at the Utah Tech 35. Handoff this time right up the middle. There goes Sam Hicks. He's got some room. He's going to have a touchdown, 35 yards. Sam Hicks, his second touch of the... Explosive, wide open. I mean, great blocking and, and the misdirection and the lineman for the Abilene Christian when their running backs do the cutback. They know it's coming up. That's right down the old middle. So, it took about a minute to go 75 yards. Hill's going to throw, steps up to the pocket, goes deep in the out, caught, 45-yard line. Boy, what a throw, what a reception by Daniel Thomason. And that's one guy that the coaching staff. Reggie Graff in the backfield. So, 21 seconds left, still one timeout left. Graff. Up over the top, caught by Eric Olson inside the 35 to the 32-yard line. Here we go. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Reggie Graft across the middle. Caught Again. by Eric Olson, and this is going to be a touchdown. Trailblazers, Reggie Graft to Eric Olson, 32-yard touchdown. And that is Eric Olson's first. Bobbled that right around the time he caught it, and the defender was there. Oh, that was a nice catch. I at first thought that may be intercepted, overshot, but that's just made up for that drop a few minutes ago. And Evadoff misses the extra point. Kind of forced up, so that time he knew the clock was run out, so he lived to play another day and then hand it off to Johnson and see if Johnson can break it. Picks up nearly 10, and that will do it for the first half. On the toss, selected to defer Sam Hicks back at his goal line to take this. You've ate off kick, and he will take it two yards deep, bobbles it, and he picks it up. He's going to take it out of the end zone. Got a little room across the 20 out to the 25-yard line, so edge for pressure. So second down and eight. McIver to throw across the middle, wide open. It caught 50-yard line, 45-40, breaks a tackle. That's Nehemiah Martinez, and he could go all the way. Touchdown, 
Abilene Christian, 74 yards. Yeah, they should have. And you just see, you see how he just cut back across the field off a simple five-yard. Quincy LeJay trying to catch him, thought he had him. Man. And then Brevin Hamlin gets turned around, Fotu, no chance. I mean, Fotu's a stud. Yeah. <laughs> Not chasing a guy named Nehemiah. <laughs> To wow. be able to do that on the slant. Yeah, 76-yard touchdown pass. Graf forced out of the pocket. And he's going to run and going to be well shy of the first down. So, so a drop ball, a holding penalty. Third down conversions. Hand off to Johnson and hit behind the line of scrimmage and Fights forward, he's going to have the first down. So just give all the credit to Johnson there because he would. He's also a big dude, 6'2", 250. McIver across the middle. That slant has been open all night, and it worked again across midfield down to the 49-yard line. And that's big Blaine Taylor again, and he's holding his ankle. And now his teammates are calling for some help. Across the middle again, they found something soft in that middle of the defense, secondary, all the way down to the 25-yard line. Out in the flat, caught, 10, knocked out of bounds at the eight. Scooter Jackson knocks him out. And there's Blaine Taylor, he didn't take uh, long to get back in the game, that's yeah. good news. Johnson busts outside, five, touchdown, Isaiah Johnson. Nine yards. Wildcat touchdown. That's Johnson's seventh rushing touchdown of the season. Simple slide and dive, and he was able to just bounce it outside and cut up vertical, get to that second level. He's just jumping the end zone. Extra point is up and good by base with 7.21. Had to hurry and get that one away. Got Chris Street down the left sideline. Got the first down and much more into Wildcat territory. And that was a well-designed play. Bumble. Ball on the ground picked no. up by the Wildcats. Wow. And just man. like that, a promising drive for Utah Tech down the drain. And that is Will Schaefer with the recovery. Man, the ball just popped out. Let's see what we if we can see what happened. Oh, right there, big number. He wasn't letting 98. There he goes again. He's having a nice game. 16, Wildcats leading the Trailblazers. Abilene Christian has it second down and eight at the 49-yard line. Handoff right up the middle. There he goes again. First down. Across the 40 down to the 36-yard line. McIver wants to go deep, hit as he throws, ball on the ground, it's loose, and it's recovered by Utah Tech at the 44-yard line. And let's see if they call this an incomplete pass or a fumble. I got a, We got a flag down, too. Hang on. Let's get the word from the, the official. The on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. Illegal shift, offense, two men in motion, and not becoming set. First down. Utah so an illegal Tech. shift, and it was classified as a fumble and recovered by Utah Tech. So it is Utah Tech football if this stands as a fumble. Ooh, I don't know. They're going to have to look at this one. His arm went forward. Now, was the ball in there again? I don't know if we can see that again. Wait, it, it's, not, it's not enough to sustain drives. Abilene Christian showing blitz. Here they come from the right side. And incomplete, that would have been about three yards shy of the first down intended for Bryce Parker. So really, if they weren't going to get the first down, maybe they were trying to get another four or five yards just to go for it on fourth and two or three. Third down and nine. Five of ten on third down. McIver puts it up for grabs, and that was a jump ball and a nice job by Bakahua. Kind of back off a little ways. 
Wildcats showing pressure. Here they come right up the middle. Reggie Graff. What an out pattern and throw to Chernet at second and 20. Wildcats rush four. Graff steps up, takes off. Across the 40. Out to the 43-yard line. And that's for 11 in third down conversions. Reggie Graff out in the flat. It's caught. And trying to get the first down, he does across midfield into Wildcat territory. And that was Chris Street. Convert on a third down. Under 30 to play. Graff caught 31-yard line. Bryce Parker, another first down. 16-yard pickup. That might be the last play of the fourth. Tight formation, two tight ends on the left side. Chris Street bounces outside, slips through one guy, tried to get through another one, but couldn't. Bryce Parker in motion. Reggie rolling out in the flat. Can't make the connection to Parker. Threw it low. Just kind of rushed that one a little bit, Ronnie. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling So second down and six. Hand off to Hicks right up the middle. Again, he breaks through into the secondary. Midfield still on his feet. Finally tripped up near the 35-yard line. Jagger Williams got him. But that was on the night. He's 190. Five yards. Johnson around the right side. He goes into the secondary. Still on his feet. Down the right sideline. Inside the 10. If he would have stayed up, that would have been six. He had so much space, he got caught up, caught up on the turf. Third <laughs> line. A couple of big chunks on this drive. Johnson. No, Hicks. To the goal line, Hicks reaches for the goal line. He's in for another touchdown. Sam Hicks into the end zone for the third time tonight. Well, did that make him 200 yards? Combined. First three. First three games, and last week they held him to under 150. Cal uh, UC Davis, but now. Wow. That's in Austin. That's in uh, Austin P as well. He scored 14 in the fourth to win a ball oh, on fumble. the ground. It's picked up by the Wildcats, head into the end zone, and it's going to be a defensive touchdown. Wildcats, Jashari. No, that's Chris Wright. Chris. That's the second fumble for Chris, Chris Street. Street. That goes right in the hands of Chris Wright, and you're not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. He's 6'4", 240. North Texas transfer. Fifty. Of course, that hasn't resulted in more exciting returns. Reggie Graff out to Thomason, breaks free at the 40, 45 midfield, down the right sideline, and knocked out of bounds. And another big chunk for Daniel Thomason. He's had a couple of nice catch and runs today. Here comes a pressure from the left side. Reggie rolls away from it. And now he rolls out as a wide open guy. And the 30, the 25 down to the 20. And that's a new guy that we haven't talked much Tona. about. That's Reggie. Reggie Graff Is to the goal line. Touchdown. touchdown, Reggie Graff. Trailblazers in the end zone, nine yards. And if you're not paying attention, everyone who sits in a stadium and a cannon goes off, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so that was a nice block by Jay McEwen to force the defender outside and let Reggie cut in. Extra point by Uvedoff is good. So third and 14. Vaughn again. Jordan Vaughn out across the 30 to the 33. Going to be a couple of yards shy of the first down. Yeah, 6'3", 235. Touchdown. But uh, sometimes when you try a little too much, yeah, you, you don't worry about the, the technique, right? Yeah. Reggie Graff pump fakes. Wanted to go deep across the middle. Diving to make the catch is Shamar Garrett in Wildcat territory. Catches us. You have to make the quarterback right sometimes. <laughs> 
And off right up the middle to Bretton Stone. Bulls over a white jersey. He's got a first down at the 30-yard line. Wow. And Bretton Stone, that's his longest yeah, run of his. Abilene Christian, how their playmakers really stepped up and made some big plays. Reggie Graff stepping up in the pocket. Got some room. Reggie Graff almost lost the football, but he has a first down at the 10-yard line. He almost lost that. Yeah. Somebody reached out and got a big old third fumble of the night. Or no, that would have been their fourth, third fumble of the night, yeah. Right up the middle, Bretton Stone touchdown. Bretton Stone, the local kid with his first career touchdown of 10 yards. Got to feel good to get some time. And nice little cutback. Absolutely. Untouched. <laughs> Bretton Stone, first career touchdown. Extra point is good, so Trailblazers. So that's going to be a good one next week. Jordan Vaughn. Maybe two yards, and that might be the final play before the two-minute timeout. So ne next week it's Central Arkansas and Abilene reception tonight. So that's one thing they wanted to do, spread the ball around a little bit. Reggie Graff tries to... Sneak in for a first down, but he gets maybe back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Fourth down. You go for it. Why not? Graff in the pistol. Drops back to his 30. Here comes the pressure. Across the middle. Ah. Just beyond the outstretched arms of Eric Olson. So close. Yeah, he had to play in all of college football, right? Yeah. Victory formation. And you're not going to have to snap it. That'll do it. About a second, maybe, difference between the play clock and the game clock. And, yep, yeah, that'll do it. So the Trailblazers did a lot of things better tonight. Not enough of them. And they got a lot of work on to try to get their first win next week in North Alabama. For Abilene Christian, they did what they come here to do. Their stars made big plays, Ronnie, and they put up a lot of points, 55-30 the win.